Did you know that brown sugar is actually white sugar with molasses added back into it? Yes, it's true. The rich color and deep flavor that we associate with brown sugar don't come from a raw or less processed source. In fact, it's quite the opposite. This sweet staple of our pantry owes its unique characteristics to the addition of molasses, a byproduct of sugar refining. So the next time you're sprinkling brown sugar onto your oatmeal or into your coffee, remember its sweet little secret. Stay tuned to find out how this sweet and flavorful ingredient is made. To delve deeper into the world of brown sugar, we have with us a sugar industry expert, Dr. Sweet. Hello, my name is Dr. Sweet, and I've been studying the ins and outs of the sugar industry for over two decades. Over the years I've developed a particular fondness for brown sugar. You see sugar isn't just a sweetener, it's a complex world of different tastes, textures and colors, each with its unique process of creation and use. Let's start with a quick sugar 101. Broadly, there are three types of sugar, white, brown and raw. White sugar, the most commonly used, is fully refined from the sugar cane or beet plant, with all impurities and molasses removed. Raw sugar is less processed, retaining some of the original plant flavors. But today, we're focusing on brown sugar, the sweet spot between white and raw sugar. Brown sugar has a special place in the sugar industry, and rightfully so. It's not just white sugar with molasses added back, as some might think. Brown sugar is a product of the early stages of sugar refining, where the sweet molasses-rich syrup cloaks the sugar crystals. This gives brown sugar its distinct color, moist texture, and a caramel-like flavor making it a favorite in baking and cooking. In the sugar industry, we often refer to brown sugar as the taste of nostalgia. It has an old world charm, reminiscent of homemade cookies and warm gingerbread. Its versatility extends beyond desserts though. You'll find it in savory recipes too, adding a depth of flavor that white sugar just can't match. But what makes brown sugar truly special is the process of making it. It's a delicate balance of refining just enough to produce those moist, flavorful crystals, but not too much to strip away the molasses. It's an art, a science and a dance all rolled into one. As Dr. Sweet explained, there's more to brown sugar than meets the eye. Now let's get into the sweet details of how brown sugar is made. The journey of brown sugar begins in the lush green fields where towering stalks of sugarcane sway gently in the breeze. Sugarcane, a tropical grass, is the primary source of sugar. And it's from this plant that we begin our sweet journey. The first step in the process is the harvesting of the sugar cane. Once ripe, the cane is cut down, and the leaves are stripped away, leaving just the tall, sweet stalks. These stalks are then crushed to extract the juice, a sweet, sticky liquid that's the basis of our brown sugar. This juice is then boiled, a process that allows the water content to evaporate, leaving behind a thick sweet syrup known as cane syrup. Now here's where things get interesting, the cane syrup is boiled again, and as it thickens it darkens, transforming into a rich dark liquid known as molasses. Our friend Mr. Cane, an industry expert, explains, It's at this stage that the real magic happens. The molasses is then combined with sugar crystals, creating that distinct color and flavor we associate with brown sugar. The molasses-rich sugar is then spun in a centrifuge, a machine that uses centrifugal force to separate the molasses and sugar crystals. The result? A moist, flavorful sugar that's brown in color and rich in taste. But the process doesn't stop here. The brown sugar is then allowed to dry. This step is crucial as it helps ensure the sugar doesn't clump together. Once dried, the sugar is sifted to ensure uniformity in size and texture. It's then packaged and ready to be shipped to stores across the world, ending up in our kitchens, ready to sweeten our morning coffees or become an essential ingredient in our favorite baked goods. Mr. Kane adds, it's a fascinating process really, from the sugar cane fields to the final product, every step is integral in creating the brown sugar we all know and love. It's not just about sweetening our food, it's about adding depth and complexity to our dishes. And there you have it. The process of making brown sugar is a journey that starts in the sugar cane fields and ends in our kitchens. It's a process that involves harvesting, crushing, boiling, spinning, and drying. A process that takes time, patience, and a whole lot of love. So that's how our favorite sweetener is made, straight from the sugarcane fields to our kitchens. Did you know, not all brown sugar is the same? There are different varieties with subtle differences. Let's dive into the realm of brown sugar and its varieties. First up is light brown sugar. This type is often preferred in baking and cooking for its delicate, caramel-like flavor. It's made by adding a small amount of molasses to white sugar. Light brown sugar is perfect for recipes that call for a subtly sweet taste like shortbread cookies or apple pie. 
Next on our list is dark brown sugar. This variety has a more pronounced molasses flavor due to the higher concentration of molasses added during the sugar refining process. Dark brown sugar is a favorite among chefs and home cooks alike for its rich, deep flavor. It's the star ingredient in dishes like gingerbread, baked beans, and barbecue sauce, lending them a distinctive, robust sweetness. Then we have raw sugar, also known as turbinado sugar. This type of brown sugar undergoes minimal processing, retaining a hint of its natural molasses content. With its coarse texture and golden color, raw sugar adds a delightful crunch when sprinkled on top of baked goods and desserts. Last but certainly not least we have Muscovado sugar. This is the most unrefined variety of brown sugar, with a strong, almost licorice-like flavor. It's the go-to choice for recipes that require a potent sweetness, like sticky toffee pudding or rich chocolate cakes. Now let's hear from our culinary expert, Chef Sugar. He shares, each type of brown sugar brings a unique flavor profile to your dishes. Understanding these differences can elevate your cooking and baking, allowing you to create dishes that truly stand out. Remember, it's not just about sweetness, it's about depth and complexity of flavor. So the next time you pick up a packet of brown sugar, you'll know exactly what you're getting. Remember, the right type of brown sugar can make all the difference in your culinary masterpiece. From light to dark, raw to muscovado, the world of brown sugar is as diverse as it is sweet. In this sweet journey, we've learned quite a bit about the humble brown sugar. It's a fascinating process, isn't it? From the towering sugar cane fields to the humble sugar bowl on your kitchen table, the journey of brown sugar is one of transformation and tenacity. We've discovered that brown sugar is not merely white sugar with a tan, it's a product of careful extraction from sugar cane or sugar beets, followed by crystallization, centrifugation and finally, the addition of molasses. This molasses gives brown sugar its distinctive flavor, color and moistness. We've also explored the various types of brown sugar. From light to dark, each variety has a unique ratio of sugar to molasses, creating a symphony of flavors. Light brown sugar with its subtle caramel undertone is perfect for baking cookies and cakes. On the other hand, dark brown sugar, with a more robust molasses flavor, is the star of rich recipes like gingerbread and barbecue sauces. But remember, the beauty of brown sugar lies not just in its taste but also in its versatility. It can be used in a wide range of culinary applications from sweet to savory and can be a healthier alternative to refined white sugar. And that's the sweet and simple story of brown sugar, a little ingredient with a big impact.